Hey guys, PG Design here once again. In this video we're going to be looking at sweep and coil. Some fairly useful tools. I don't use coil much, but sweep I use all the time. So pay close attention to this. So I'm going to go start a sketch on the XY plane. Sure, sounds good. So for sweep you want to start circle in the middle, or actually it doesn't really matter where you start the circle. Or square, whatever, but usually I use sweep for uh, for wires or cords or piping so start off by a small circle we're not going to pay attention to size right now so bear with me so then you're going to want to create a new drawing on so you can take a look at this and you can see how it's drawn in the XY plane so you're going to want to pick one of the other planes to draw another sketch on so right click and then new sketch or whichever way you want to get to the new sketch part so we're not actually going to draw anything of real importance here so we're just going to do a spline start at the center of your circle or you can start on the sides too, but it'll create a little bit of a different effect, which you guys can play with, but I'm just going to show you the basics. So right up to here, enter, and it's going to create your spline for you. You can also play with this, which is which is pretty cool. Drag, move and drag this. You can create different uh, radiuses here if it doesn't work. So we're just going to go with this, finish sketch. And so now we've got a circle with a path that it's going to follow. So if you hit sweep, it's automatically going to select your line, but say it doesn't automatically select your select your line. So we're going to go back, change this around a bit. We'll delete that. So you can go to line, start over here. Let's let's do a little, little test. I haven't really tried this out. So then you can go to fill it, uh, fill it wherever it is. Okay, just hit F if you can't find fill it because I for some reason can't. So select both of these, and it's going to create a little fillet in there. That's not big enough. Control Z, and that'll make that disappear. F again. You can go to maybe two. That that should do the trick. There we go. Hit uh, hit the X, then finish sketch. Then you can once again go to sweep, and then right now it automatically selects your profile because it's the only closed profile here. And now it wants you to select your path, so you can select the path, and it's automatically going to follow the path. Not not right on it, but you can pretty much draw your path wherever you want, and it'll automatically bring your sweep along the correct axis. So say right now you're on path, the selection path up here, you can select parallel and it'll do your, it'll keep your shape parallel to the same plane that it was always on. And if you select path, it'll do it perpendicular to your path. So it all depends on what you're doing. I personally like to keep it on path most of the time because pipes don't usually change in circumference at all or or diameter. So then you can go ahead and click OK and then yes and then this is what a sweep looks like and so that's how you do a sweep so we're gonna go and delete that and then yes consume sketches and features you can go to create 2d sketch and select the plane you want to work on so now we're gonna take a look at how you can do a, uh, a coil so just make a circle make a circle somewhere off to the side from the center point this center point is going to be the center of your circle so however wide you want your coil to be is where you're going to want to put your circle so right here seems good it's not going to be a very wide coil but it should do the trick or actually we're going to go a bit farther out right here finish sketch just rotate around a bit so you can take a look at which ac which uh... which axis that is so that looks like it's the z-axis so you're going to go up and hit coil it automatically selects your profile once again and you can go ahead and select your axis. So Z axis. So say you pick a different axis, the Y axis, it'll it'll it depends. That'll create your coil in this direction, then you have your X axis, and that's probably not gonna work. Oh there we go. They all yeah, that's not gonna give you a very nice coil though. So you can go and select the Y axis. This should turn out nice. So you can change the coil size and the coil ends how you want that to work, so so just take a look at this. So your pitch is going to be how far your coil stretches for each revolution that it does. So 0.5, that'll just stretch it out. So we're going to go with 1. That looks that seems to look nice. Revolutions, this will specify how long it's going to be. So let's go, say, 10. That'll be a lot of revolutions. There's a few different ways you can do this. So go OK. It'll look nice. A bit close together, but you kind of get the idea. So double-click on it. You can change this up. So say you want to go revolution height, you want it to be like 10 inches tall, 
Here, let's go a bit higher. Let's go with like 20. That'll stretch it out a bit, make it look a bit nicer. We can go with less revolution, so five. It's just going to stretch it out. There's a few different ways you can do this depending on how you how you want it to do. Then you have pitch and height. So taper. This is pretty useful actually. It's kind of interesting. If you do 20 degrees, it'll taper out like that and create kind of a cyclone effect. This is pretty cool. I'm not sure what the exact applications of this can be, but you can get some pretty interesting stuff. So coil end, star natural or flat. It uh, whatever you want you can play with that see what happens so this is what this looks like and that's how you make coils and sweeps thanks for watching